There's a choice we have to make as people, as individuals. If you want to be great at something, you have to make inherent sacrifices that come along with that. Family time, hanging out with your friends. So at the age of 18, I knew that I was not going to be stopped. This was my life. We all can be masters at our craft, but you have to make sacrifices that come along with making that decision. Peace, family. Uh, man, I've really been battling whether or not to even speak on the death of our brother Kobe Bryant. Because personally, if you know me and those who know me, death is a very hard thing for me. I don't. One of the challenges of being a student minister is that you have to do funerals, and it's very hard. You know, I managed to do them, but if I could avoid it, it's very hard. But I want to use this time to extract from what the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has said and other stuff that I've read to just share some things to help all of us get through this level or whatever degree of grieving you may be going through through the loss of Kobe Bryant and his daughter or even through the loss of one of your own loved ones or your friends that you know because other people have died in the city of New Orleans and around the world on the same day that Kobe. Of course, his star and his, his fame is, is larger, so it's focused on him. But listen... One of the things that we have to learn that when people die, I heard the album Mr. Louis Farrakhan say this, we need to thank God and show appreciation that he allowed them to be in our life for whatever amount of time that it was. Thank God for that. I know we can choose to be bitter and sad, but have you ever thought about God, I thank you for allowing this person to be in my life. Of course, I would have wanted them to be in my life longer, but I understand, but thank, I thank you for that. A second thing is this, one of the greatest ways we can honor those who we know that have went on, who have passed, who have died, is to take the good that we know about them and apply it in our lives. If you look at Kobe, Kobe Bryant, dude had an insane drive to master his craft. He was disciplined. He was focused. He was committed. He had a mindset of being a champion and nothing was going to stop him from achieving his goal. He had a mindset of creating the type of narrative and storyline for his life, and he wasn't going to allow anything outside of him to not do that. When he ruptured his Achilles heel, I was watching an interview. He went back and he said, he said, this is not how my career is going to end. So he wielded the God force in him where he came back, played, had a show, still showed he had that greatness. And then he left on his terms. What about you as you sit here? What if we took that same spirit of Kobe Bryant and said, listen, I'm going to determine and shape the life that I want to have, right? That's what we have to do. We can sit around and we can mope and be sad. But if we do that, we fail to extract the lessons that we can, we can get from a Kobe Bryant or even somebody in your own life. As I close, remember, show appreciation to God for this person being in our lives. Study their life, take the good from their life, because we all have good and bad. Take the good and apply it, apply it in your own life. They would want us sitting around just being grieving and not doing anything, right? Remember these things and hear the minister as you hear the minister. Peace. It's the pain. Because he is the author of life. Yes, sir. And no soul comes to life without his permission. And he also is the author of death. And none of us can die without his permission. We don't care what the doctors say. It is God who calls time. But off time with our help. Because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us there's no set time for us to die. What? But the Quran says the term is fixed. Well, if there's no set time for us to die, how is the term fixed? See? You fix it by the way you live the life that God gave you. God never brought us to this earth 
and gave us this wonderful thing called life without giving us the guidance of how to live this life to the fullest until the time comes when our body is so weak it can't sustain life then it is time for us to return to Allah time for this body to return to the earth 